Hello, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm sharing my standout products from the past month, both good and bad, to hopefully help you make better buying decisions. I've tested out quite a few products over the past month and hope these reviews help you out. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm excited about today's video and have a lot to share with you. So let's get into what I loved and didn't in September. I love testing and reviewing complexion products, so when I saw this new release for Milk Makeup, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. This is the new Pore Eclipse Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It comes in four shades. I have Translucent Light. It's vegan, cruelty-free, talc-free, weightless, pore blurring, shine controlling, and it's supposed to set your makeup for up to 16 hours with a smooth matte finish, but I find it's not really a matte finish. I applied some right before filming this clip over my already completed makeup so you could see what kind of a sheen of finish this leaves, how it doesn't look matte or powdery. It leaves a natural, beautiful sheen that in my opinion would work really well across all skin types, even mature skin. When I use this as a true setting powder, not how I did today over my completed makeup, when I actually set my face with it, it works beautifully on my dry under eyes where I have texture and fine lines, as well as the rest of my face that can get shiny in my my T-zone and is more normal around the perimeter. It controls my shine well without looking powdery or matte the way we think of matte. I mean, you can see it's just got kind of a velvety natural sheen. It just doesn't look like powder. It's very, very finely milled and just completely disappears into your skin. This shade Translucent Light works really, really well for my light medium skin tone. It has lentil extract in it to absorb oil and control shine. Pore blurring microspheres are what give you that soft focus finish and Bakuchiol and Niacin Cinnamide, smooth skin texture, and minimize the look of pores and fine lines. Now, a small percentage of people do have issues with niacinamide. It's being added in a lot of products right now. It's kind of the hot ingredient. So if you do have a sensitivity to niacinamide, you probably want to avoid this. But if you don't, if your skin agrees with it like mine does, you will probably love this the way I do for blurring pores and texture and giving you a nice soft focus finish. If you want a a true matte look with no sheen whatsoever. This probably is not going to be the powder for you, but if you want something that strikes the balance of giving you that natural radiance while controlling your shine, this is a great one. Now, one thing I do want to note is that even though it's got this locking mechanism here so that it won't be messy, I find it's still pretty messy because this powder is so finely milled. I also find because it's so finely milled, I only need to leave one of the holes exposed and plenty of powder comes out into the lid for me. We're off to a good start. This is a product I was really, really impressed with in September. NARS recently launched their Power Matte High Intensity Long Lasting Lip Pencils, and I have some mixed feelings on these. So they do apply extremely easily. They kind of have this cream to matte texture. They glide on smoothly and give this bold, opaque matte finish that's supposed to wear comfortably for up to 12 hours. And I do find that for a long wearing formula, these are actually pretty comfortable. I'm not someone that typically likes long wearing formulas, liquid lipsticks, because they're often pretty drying and unflattering if you have mature or dry lips. And these are pretty comfortable up to a point. I pulled the shade out that I have on now. I did get all the shades in this cute little case here. So I was really excited to swatch them for you. I do have them swatched here on my arm. Now the shade I have here and on my lips, I do have something over it that I'm gonna talk about later. It looks deeper on my lips than it does here in the pencil. And on my arm, it looks here like it's gonna be this light pink brown. It's the lightest swatch I have on my arm. I thought it was gonna be this really nice neutral, but this is the lightest shade we have here. And all of these I find are medium, medium deep, 
to deep or red, very saturated shades. So if you enjoy shades like that, I think you'll like these. But for me, I am missing a nude. Where is just a light pink brown, a light peachy pink? It's not here. Also, these are the plastic type of pencils that you sharpen. They look like they're going to be twist ups because of how they're designed, but you do need a good sharpener. Now, if I need, say, a good red for an evening out and I want something quick and comfortable that's going to last, this is a pretty good option. I do get a little bit of transfer onto a cup, but it doesn't affect the way it looks or the longevity. Now, if some does come off after a while, it's very, very minimal and I can always top it off. It, it applies very nicely over itself. I do like this formula for a long wearing formula. I just wish they would have had a little bit more fun with the shade range for me personally. I just feel like everything kind of looks a little bit saturated and kind of similar. I was just kind of surprised to see that. I don't know why I was late trying this, but I'm just glad I did. Everyone was right with how great the Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer is. Can you even see that in my screen <laughs> with how great this is? I have light bronze. This is such an easy, no fail, everyday cream, kind of balmy bronzer. That's basically no fail. The texture is so velvety smooth. It's a lightweight. It's got a natural finish and it's sheer yet buildable. So because it's sheer, it just gives you a beautiful natural finish. And I'm gonna have to turn my hand this way. So you can see how that just gave a slight tint to my hand very quickly. I didn't bother blending out the edges just now. I could build it up if I want to or leave it as is. It's easy and effortless and it also also has some skincare benefits in here too. There's colloidal oatmeal to smooth and soothe and moisturize your skin. There's elderberry extract to brighten and protect your skin with vitamin C. It also has grapeseed oil that's rich in antioxidants and vitamin E. And I love that it gives a nice natural finish. It's not too radiant. So whether you are someone who sets your makeup or you don't, it is going to work beautifully for you. And look, I am never someone who is going to tell you, you need to get the makeup brush that goes with the product that you buy. But I will tell you, this brush has been living on my vanity. I absolutely love it for this and other cream products. It's the perfect softness and density for blending out cream products beautifully. And it's the right size for cream bronzers. And I love the flat bottom. So I can just sit it up right on my vanity, almost like it's a foundation. I was late to the party with both of these, but I'm so glad that I tried them because these have been used a ton by me in September and will continue to be used moving forward. You know, there are some products that I don't share in my monthly favorites, like foundations and concealers that I try recently and I absolutely love or hate. Those are in separate videos. I'll have those linked down below and up in a card if you haven't seen my most recent foundation and concealer roundups, as well as my Amazon favorites. I put those in a separate video and I just did a video with some products I'm obsessed with right now. And I included these Merit Solo shadows and some other products in there. And you may want to check those out. So I will put those links to those videos in case you miss those and you want to catch those after this one in my description box, as well as my top pinned comment, along with everything I'm sharing and wearing in this video. So let's talk about this new Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Press Powder. I have it in both yellow and neutral. I can't turn the neutral one up very much because it's floating around in there and if I turn it upright it might break. So this is supposed to be a finishing powder that blurs while it boosts moisture over time and refines skin tone and controls your oil all day and balances your skin and just gives you an overall healthy, fresh look. So here is neutral and you can see there's just some powder hanging out there because it's kind of broken on the bottom. There are four shades and this does have vitamin B5. So there is neutral. Now I love a good finishing powder. Applying a finishing powder over your finished makeup can just give a 
perfected kind of airbrush effect to your overall look. It can kind of give a more finished makeup look to your makeup, kind of a, a filter effect. It can also help correct or diffuse any over application of products like blush, bronzer, or contour, or highlight. I do think that it does help control my shine during the day, but it's so sheer upon application. Yes, you do see some things here with the swatches, but when you you apply it to your face, it's just so sheer. I don't really notice the other benefits that I like to get from a finishing powder in the same way that I get them from MAC and the other finishing powders that I like. So for me, this was a very okay product. It's pretty pricey. I could see how someone who's maybe never tried a different kind of finishing powder might not know any different. So in applying it to my face now, I feel like I'm getting a mattifying effect from it, which does last a decent amount of time but that's about all I'm getting. I'm not getting that diffused look. So my verdict is that this is a fine powder, but it's not blow me out of the water. This is one of my favorite finishing powders ever, which is what I want if I'm spending this kind of money on finishing powder. What I applied earlier over the NARS Power Matte Lip Pencil is the new launch from Persona. This is the Day Mask Peptide Lip Balm. I'm all about peptides because they help stimulate collagen and elastin. And these also have squalane and hyaluronic acid to nourish and hydrate. These come in three shades. We have Clear and June, which is described as a sheer peachy pink, and Pomegranate, which is the shade that I applied earlier, which is a cool sheer pomegranate shade. And they all have this kind of light apricot scent and they're great for all skin tones. And in addition to those ingredients, these also have blueberry peach and pomegranate extracts that are known to reduce inflammation and really calm and soothe your skin. So I just find these to be very calming, soothing, and nourishing. They feel kind of velvety on my lips. There's no stickiness whatsoever. They leave the right amount of pigment and shine. They're great to wear by themselves or over lip liner or other lip products. This is another great launch from a brand I love and think is truly underrated. I love lip balm, lip tint type products that actually do something for me. And these definitely fall in that category. I didn't want to like this product on pure principle, but my skin loves it. Sometimes that happens. And I mean, what are you going to do? So this is the Charlotte Tilbury magic water cream, which she created for those of you, those of us with combination skin or oily skin that maybe found the regular magic cream to be a little bit heavy for daily use or that wanted that dewy skin look and locked in hydration, but without a heavy greasy feel. So this is the 0.5 ounce size, the small size. I've reached the bottom of it. I'm, I'm scooping it out and I am going to buy a full size. My skin does really, really well with this product. It's got this kind of lotion-y whipped texture. It sinks in beautifully and feels nice and, and light, never heavy. And my skin does feel nice and hydrated, but it never feels greasy. And it works really well for me, both during the day and at night. The regular magic cream was one that I reserved more for nighttime or for the colder months if I was going to try and use it during the day. It has a biopeptide complex in it to even tone and texture. And it has that water locking fusion technology in it that traps moisture immediately and helps your skin retain moisture for up to 100 hours. She always puts those proprietary ingredients in her products. It also has niacinamide that brightens and balances your skin tone and helps refine the look of pores. My skin just does really, really well with niacinamide. Now, even if your skin does well with niacinamide, you do need to be pretty careful about how much niacinamide you use at a time. My skin just looks better, more balanced, more even, and it wears really well under my makeup too. I was surprised at how much I really enjoy this. There are not many makeup brands where I also buy the skincare. <laughs> this is one that just really works for me. Some of my favorite mascaras are from Benefit. So when they launched FanFest Mascara, I was really excited and couldn't wait to get my hands on it to try it out. Now it's got this 
curved bristle wand, which usually works pretty well for me, and it does in this case. It gives me a lot of fanned out length and volume. I do have a couple of coats on today. Now I have pretty wimpy lashes. So for me, this is actually pretty good for just a couple of coats. So you would think I would absolutely love this mascara, but every single time I have worn this, it's smudged on my brow bone. I actually keep looking over here in the monitor to see if I have smudges on my brow bone yet. I don't yet, but I guarantee you by the end of the day, I will have smudges on my brow bone. Even when I use an eyeshadow primer, which I always do, and set that eyeshadow primer with powder, which I always recommend to you for preventing mascara smudges, it still smudges on me. I don't know if this is happening to other people, but this mascara does that to me every time. And I really wish it didn't because otherwise I would really, really love it. I would love to know if you tried this, if that is an issue for you. I haven't had that issue with other Benefit mascaras, so it really did surprise me. And I'm really sad about it, but that has been my experience with the new Benefit Fan Fest mascara. I recently learned that one of my beloved under eye products was being discontinued. Now, if you are a subscriber of mine, you know I'm very particular about what I put on my under eye area. I'm 48 years old. I have some dryness and some texture. Now, if you notice I'm looking more textured and dry under my eyes today, my allergies and sinuses are really, really bothering me today. So that's what's going on there. But my Kopari Starry Eye Balm that I use sometimes as a prep step when I sit down to do my makeup. It's got coconut oil and some caffeine. It just it gives a little bit extra under my eyes. Anyway, I was really sad to hear that it was no longer. I wasn't really looking for a replacement or anything, but I did stumble across the Rock Multi Correction Revive and Glow Eye Balm. It has a complex of firming peptides and vitamin C, and you know how I feel about peptides. I love some peptides. It's actually supposed to be a cooling stick that helps reduce dark circles and puffiness, but that's not really what I get from it, which I'm fine with. So I just swiped it here on the back of my hand. Can you see that little shiny spot right there? So you kind of get that when you swipe it under your eyes. I also kind of dab it in with my fingers after. It's the perfect size and shape for doing that. They say it's supposed to be cooling. I don't get any cooling from it at all, which I'm also okay with, but it has the peptides. It has the vitamin C. It's got sodium PCA. It's got cocoa glycerides that are derived from coconut oil, which was an ingredient that was in my beloved Kapari product. It's also got ingredients like sunflower seed wax and oil, but I find it's a nice prep step to kind of seal everything in before going in with my corrector or my concealer. It's fragrance free, it's non-comedogenic, it's hypoallergenic, and it was designed to be safe for sensitive skin. I have had no issues with my under eye area when applying this, and it really doesn't take much at all. So this is a nice little product out there that I'm not sure many people know about. And if you have under eye struggles like I do, like like many of us do as our skin starts to thin in that area. This might be something you want to look at. I've really been enjoying it. This is a blush shade I've been loving. I just think it's so pretty and so flattering. So this is the Too Faced Cloud, Cl Cloud Crush Blush in the shade Golden Hour. So I've talked about this formula before because it's so flattering, especially on maturing skin. It just gives a natural blurring effect that blends out so easily and it's buildable. It's a no fail formula that wears like a dream. And this is a satin peachy pink that is just so pretty. And this is a nice change from the straight up bubblegum pinks that we've been seeing all summer long. It has just enough peachiness to warm it up a little bit, but not take it into full peach territory. It gives a bright, healthy, vibrant look that I think wears really well year round if you have fair to, I would say medium or medium deep skin tone. I think you could even wear this if you're pretty deep because it is so buildable. I mean, you saw how easily that just slid onto the back of my hand. The formula is beautiful. The shade is lovely. It's just a new favorite shade for me that I discovered this month and I wanted to share with you. This is a really great cleanser for those of you with sensitive skin who want a fragrance-free cleanser that works well and doesn't strip your skin. This is the Versed Purist 
antioxidant cleanser. I am just now starting to test things from this line. I don't know where I've been. I have two products to share with you today that I've been very, very pleased with. The price is also great for this line. If you have other recommendations for me, leave them in the comments down below because I just am so excited about these. So this is a fragrance-free, soap-free gel cleanser that's effective and yet leaves your skin soft and hydrated in the process. It has super fruit antioxidants in it. So it soothes and conditions and leaves your skin nice and prepped for the next steps in your skincare routine. I was pleasantly surprised at how much I enjoyed this, at how calm it leaves my skin feeling. It's weird to me to have zero scent when I'm washing my face, but this does it. It's really nice. The next Verse product I was extremely impressed with this month is the Total Package Replenishing body lotion. I feel like the biggest idiot with this product right now because I used this a good three times at night thinking this was so nice and so creamy and it absorbs so well. I couldn't wait to put it in my favorites and fails and tell you about it before realizing this was not just a body lotion. This is a mineral SPF 30 body lotion. That should tell you how creamy and well formulated this is. I'm still blown away that this is an SPF and a mineral SPF body lotion at that. I couldn't even tell. It's formulated with kupuasu, I think that's how you say that, which is two times more hydrating than shea butter. It's also got antioxidants from grapeseed oil and sodium PCA. It replenishes moisture in your body without feeling heavy or greasy. I wholeheartedly concur with that. The mineral SPF in here is from non-nano zinc oxide. It protects from UVA, UVB, and blue light. It's sheer and non-sticky. And it does say, unlike most body sunscreens, you won't even know it's there. I also concur with that. I just thought this was a straight up body lotion because of how nice the formula is. I love that I can put this on during the day and not feel or smell like I'm wearing sunscreen. This is the total package. <laughs> like the name says, what a great product from an affordable brand too. So two out of two here, and I can't wait to try more from Verst. I wanna to touch on the Drunk Elephant B Goldie Bright Illuminating Drops because they've gone viral. There's a lot of buzz about them and I know some of you are wondering if they're worth it or not. I've been playing around with these a lot this month and I was kind of wondering how different these niacinamide drops were from the Glow Recipe niacinamide dew drops that also went viral a long time ago because they're both supposed to be these radiant glowy drops. I thought I had these up here, but they're in my bathroom. So I'm gonna flash them up here and put some video clips in here too. So the texture of these is very interesting. It's very similar to the D bronzy drops, which I love because it doesn't change the texture or the finish of my face. If I am putting these under my makeup or if I'm mixing them into my moisturizer or another product, it doesn't add any extra stickiness, greasiness, dewiness, or anything different than what I would have already. The only thing it does is add the radiance or the glow of the product, but without added texture, if that makes sense. So these give a golden finish without glimmer with light reflecting pigments to give you a glowing radiance, but you don't look gold. That's what I was worried about. I didn't want to look gold. It kind of just evens everything out in a way to give kind of a candle lit glow from within. So there's 5% niacinamide to improve uneven tone and texture. There's also Morris Alba leave extract to soothe your skin and improve hyperpigmentation and dark spots. And there's something called diglucosyl gallic acid, which inhibits melanin production. I found that really interesting and it also helps helps soothe your skin and provides antioxidant benefits. So you're getting some really nice benefits from this product, whether you apply it by itself underneath your makeup or you mix it into other products. It's also very easy to control how much you use depending on how much of a glow you want. Although I love a lot of Glow Recipes products, I personally prefer these 
to the watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops, whatever the official name is, because those give me a little bit too much dewiness, stickiness, some grease shine as my day goes on for my combination skin. Whereas the B Goldie drops don't add anything extra at all, anything different than I would already have from the current products I'm applying to my face. I have really enjoyed them way more than I thought I would. And I'm kind of mad at myself for not trying them sooner. They actually sat around for a while before I reached for them for the first time. And I find that I reach for them quite a lot. I have a special increased savings code for you for five days only at one of my very favorite jewelry brands that I wear all the time, Dean Davidson. You can save 25% site-wide with my code STEPHSPECIAL25. The pieces with the red that I've been wearing in this video are from their new Rock Rose collection. I plan to wear these during the holidays as the focal point of some kind of outfit, maybe just black or something, I don't know, but I'm just loving these pieces so much. You could look through almost any of my videos and I'm constantly wearing their jewelry, but I know some of you are jewelry lovers like I am, or you have a jewelry lover in your life, you may want to have a gift on hand for them. So I wanted to share this code with you that you can take advantage of through October 5th. It's been a while since I've talked about any shows. I don't know why that is. I always love sharing shows and books and movies and things like that. So I recently watched the Supermodels documentary. It's actually a docu-series. There are four episodes where it chronicles Cindy Crawford, Christy Tarlington, Linda Evangelista, and Naomi Campbell and how they dominated the modeling industry, their rise in fame, and how they really changed everything in the 90s. I mean, they were household names. Do you remember that? You couldn't go anywhere without seeing them. It goes into the background of all of that, the bond that they have and still have. It talks about the George Michael Freedom 90 video, which was iconic. I just really enjoyed it. I was pretty immersed in the whole thing. It flew by. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's on Apple TV. It was a great watch. Very interesting. I found it interesting anyway. I've recommended it to a couple other people and they are also finding it interesting. Speaking of Apple TV, the morning show season three has started. Are any of you watching it? It has been such an enjoyable series for me. I absolutely love it. Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, Steve Carell, Mark Duplass, Juliana Margulies, Billy Crudup. There are a lot of people in this cast and I just find it also very intriguing and an interesting ride. I'm enjoying season three too. It releases every Wednesday so there have only been I think two episodes in season three but I'm really enjoying it. And you know I think this is a show that really shows Jennifer Aniston is not just Rachel. She does a great job in this role and it's a very dramatic role. There's also an actor in the morning show that was on Lost. Did any of you watch Lost? Leave me a comment down below. I'm throwing that in here because I am re-watching Lost right now. It'll be my third time watching this series which I think might sound crazy if you've never watched it before. So I watched it in real time when you had to wait a week between episodes and months between seasons and it was agonizing. And then maybe a year or a year and a half after it ended, Brady wanted to watch it for the first time. So I watched it with him. He is my son that's going to be graduating from college this December. And I remember picking up on so many things with that second viewing and really enjoying that rewatch. Well, it's been double digit years since then. And Brooke watched it for the first time this summer. Finally, she tried a few times here and there, but couldn't devote all that is required to watching Lost. And so she finally watched it this summer and absolutely loved it. And so I decided a couple weeks ago, I was going to do a rewatch and I am enjoying myself so much. I forgot so many things because it's been so long. It's such a great ride. I, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I just had to throw it in here that I'm rewatching it and it's just such a good time. Some other similar shows have come out later, but they've never quite hit the same, you know? I know that was kind of random, but I enjoy sharing what I'm doing with you too. I hope you found this enjoyable. I just want to thank you for always being here with me each month to listen to my favorites and fails. And I want to thank my Stephanie Marie Circle members for supporting my channel the way that you do. It really does mean a lot to me. And I want to thank the premium members for going even above and beyond that to continue 
continue to support me. It really does mean a lot and I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate all of you for always being here and watching my channel. Thank you so much. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyed it. I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.